Look at the mustache. Yo, my videos are for medicinal purposes only. Yo, shout out to my subscribers. My subscribers is great. I love y'all. love all of y'all. Be careful with your safes. Be careful with your items. Your necklaces, rings, whatever. All of that. Like, um, just, just be careful. You just never know with your money. Just do a better job picking the people you're around. <laughs> so this is more like a vlog day just telling you what TMI goes through. The magnanimous TMI. Like, I'm never going to be one of these dudes really with the drone out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to give you beat shots, you know, a couple areas, you know, do how I do it, but I don't think you, you, you got to do everything that everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just TMI, man. Y'all follow me for the, for the mental wellness that I give it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to keep it real. And like I said, I, I thank you for my subscribers. I never had a problem with my subscribers. Always been the YouTubers. Just, I don't know. We all just creating content, just trying to help the people. That's it. But uh, lately I've been having problems with uh, some of my new recruits. And it's not uh, going really right. Every time I come out here, I try to at least get a new number. I'm trying to be a YouTube uh, adequate. I'm trying to always get a new number. Add another team member. That's very difficult to keep the old ones. And it's very hard to keep to recruit the new ones. But that's the way I look at it. If you're going to be a half pack, you got to have a team. There's just no way you can't. I'm sorry. Unless you're super rich because you're paying way more than you should. And that's it anywhere. That's at the taxi, the going out to eat, anywhere you go. But it's also you have to do better judgment calls with your association. With the friends you meet, with the company you keep, the ladies you're around, we all have to do a better job. Because there are too many stories after a while. There are too many, this one got taken, that one got taken, this one got, and it's like, it's almost a story a week now, where we can say this, that, there was a fight, there was a Columbia, there was Cartagena, it was this, it was that, it was that, it was that. That's just too much. And if you guys, listen, if you guys are going to start staying down here, like if you're working online and you start staying down here a little more, a little more, I would say inquire about an apartment. Inquire about an Airbnb. Like brothers are already, there's Airbnbs all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Like the Pedro Casante looked like one soul train line, you know what I'm saying? Like brothers is getting their paper up, you know what I'm saying? We, we spending money. You know what I'm saying? Brothers is buying buildings. Like, that was incredible to me. Um, Porta Plata, they buying everything up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bo Riggs. He had his joint up. I mean, it was just, you know, brothers is trying to work it out. Brothers got to work. Get out. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's good to go into business, but you have to be smart about it. I think you have to be intelligent and be like, okay, maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do that. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, you and I think it's always wise to have to know the culture, know the people that you're doing the business with. And I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's nothing wrong with educating yourself with the people first before you do the business with the people that live here. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's a lawyer, you're not just gonna say, "Oh, he's a lawyer." Like, you no, know, you gotta walk, you know, walk around talking to different owners about who's a good lawyer. Lawyer. Um, a lot of brothers are landlords. You know what I'm saying? The prices in Sassua are high, and I keep saying this over and over and over. So sewer is not the Dominican Republic. Once you get out there and you see it and you among it, among them, you, you see like, okay, this is a, this is a totally different than I ever imagined in Sassua. Like I told you, I had the baseball team and helped with the Jackie. Um, how I got started with the baseball team was um, my OG, who I always talk about. You can, well, not anymore because they took my channel down and I'm getting my channel back. But we were in a video with the police and he was the one talking in Spanish when I got pulled over in Santiago. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can be in a regular area and still 
have the problem that you have with, you know, directions, signal cutting now, your, your, your map is lost, or, you know, the police stop checks, or, you know, you could be in a really nice area thinking you just got it made, and then, you know, there's no English over there. Usually, though, in the more richer and development areas in Santiago, there's more English. I guess that just makes sense, there's, but more people speak English in the richer areas. And I've been to the richest part of Santiago, and it's, whew, they got paper. They got a lot of dollars there. Peso. Um, and that, listen, you go past the gym, you see a gorgeous, sexy woman. She's going to give you the same attitude, same lip <laughs> as a woman in the States. I mean, I'm not in Santiago now. I'm in Sosua. Chilling. But... I think my time, spending heavy time in Sasua, that's not, I can say coming to an end, but it'll be less and less as the show goes on. You know what I'm saying? But you, listen, you like TMI for TMI, spunk, personality, pizzazz, truth. And like like I said, I've never had a problem with none of my subscribers. God bless y'all, man. People, you know, kind of warm in the streets. And I'm listening. I, the, the, some of these girls treat me like a villain out here. I made a mistake one time. I posted a um, thumbnail of one of the uh, ladies, and there was a, a, a chat group with nothing but ladies in it, and oh, it just went off. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. Um, I would say in the streets now about eighty twenty. <laughs> Maybe 70, 30, 70%. Hate, 70, 30% love. But at the end of the day, all, the, 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 how you treat these women will solve all of those things. You know what I'm saying? And it's only the bottom feeders. I hate to say it. You know, the ones that don't look as attractive. But listen, who? who no one comes here for drama, right? That's why I got to keep telling myself. That's why I haven't really got busy. You know what I'm saying? We all try to just make it. You know what I'm saying? We all going to be living here. You know, we all going to be, you know, traveling. You know what I'm saying? Don't make sense, you know. The negative energy, right? <laughs> I definitely uh, enjoy the weather. The people are good. You have to understand, these people were raised with totally different morals than us. And I was telling people that, you know, Tipping and Papina, Papina, Papina. Um, Dominicans don't tip like the Americans do. We tip hard. I mean, you know, some brothers are tipping like five dollars a day, and it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I usually tip at the end of the trip. I usually do, you know, five, maybe six, seven dollars. But I'm trying to work on that because <laughs> brothers was getting on me for not tipping good enough. But like I said, due to my certain problems that I have, financial, not really financial, but uh, I try to drag y'all into my whole life. And people are literally going by what I say word for word. You know what I'm saying? Like people believe in me and telling me like, yo, I believe you. That's why I'm traveling. I love that. Um... I, listen, you can contact me, TMI 950, for help. There's just no other way. TMI 950 Instagram. Um, also, TMI Sasua. Follow that. Love y'all, man. Just, you know. I just recently had a little verbal sparring match with my landlord in Puerto Plata. And everybody's like, you're crazy. You haven't lived there. And I'm like, I haven't lived there, but I chilled there. <laughs> Shout out to my guys in South Carolina, man. Shout out to South Carolina, man. Put your arms up. My South Carolina dudes up there. And like I said, man, there's like six different sets of groups of dudes from South Carolina. Hold me down. Just put your hands up. Burn it up. Put it up. I'm a street dude, you know what I'm saying? Through and through, you know what I'm saying? So I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to let the love outweigh the hate. I don't want to be on some, you know, always looking to run down on people. 
You know what I mean? Keep positive. Positive. I got, every day I got to practice positivism. And I want you out there to practice positivism. I want you to grab the passport. I want you to sit down on one knee. And I want you to look up and say, I am going to travel. I am going to the new places. And not just the resort. I'm not talking about the resort. I'm talking about out there. Just fuck. Look. Come with me. You're looking at the words, but you're not listening to me. You hear the sound, but you're not really feeling me. I want you to feel it, the energy. Because you can look into my eyes and see how I feel, baby. I feel great. I'm when, like I said, when I first came, I started out in La Vega, and I was like, love, 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 what? Like, where are we going? Beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Like I told you, my intention to first come to the country was to get married. Beautiful, beautiful girl. I had, a, I had a video where I was getting a little sensitive and a little emotional. TMI does get sensitive and emotional. My mom's passing Memorial Day weekend, so Memorial Day weekend's a little funny. Not, not, I'm sorry, she didn't pass in there. She got uh, diagnosed. Not diagnosed, uh, something else. But uh, it got worse in Memorial Day weekend. Let's put it like that. But uh, yeah, yo, listen. If you just got divorced from your wife, come to Sasua. Come to Sasua. Listen, Sasua is like the, the, the basic training camp. You start out here, you come, you meet a girl, take her to dinner, meet the family. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with buying a bed. There's nothing wrong with paying for a pamper. Nothing wrong with holding hands. People criticize dudes for walking and holding hands. That's romantic. It's nice. It's something I, I don't really hold anyone to. You can hold hands. Hold hands. That's what the world needs. What the world needs now. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm not doing this video from the beach. I'm lazy and I got to start moving around more, man. And like I told you, my health gonna get better and better. You know what I'm saying? Dude, just taking shots at the kid. Ha, 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 ha. But the money's getting better. That, that's all I got to say. The money getting better. Because I'm good here and I'm good in the States. Okay? I'm good. I hope you good too. Like I told you before, last trip I was this close to a car. But I was like, nah, let me let me chill, let me fall back on this. And this is the first trip where I didn't rent a car the whole time. I think I'm on like my seventh day of renting a car. I'm just a car dude. I, I'm not a scooter dude, I'm a car dude. I just gotta rent the car. Um Like I said, me and my landlord were kinda going back and forth a little bit, but he was like, Oh, I love you as a tenant. And I'm like, I love y'all as a landlord, man, but y'all be tripping sometimes. But my rent just went up. Cause it's a full blown year anniversary of my land, my um, my apartment in Puerto Plata, and I'm pretty sure homeboy in um Santiago like, damn, you don't stay here at all like you used to. And like I told you that, that'll be the spot where I just let you know a few people you know rest. I don't know, cause it's still my home. I don't feel good about you know strangers in my home, but Airbnb, at least not now. You know what I'm saying? And I had a lot of endeavors before I got here. With uh, you know, some numbers. Um, I'm just being as honest as I can. Like I said, I can't relate everything to my subscribers. I can call you fans, call you my brothers. Educational, you know what I'm saying? But I see a lot of y'all are winning with this Airbnb, man. Like, and I understand I'm not trying to be cheap, but at the same time, I'm trying to be valued. I'm trying to have uh, you know. The, the TMI name brand, you know what I'm saying? Like, with somebody that I'm staying with, be like, yes, you are my guy. So, I'll be looking to maybe do the Airbnb thing. Only thing is I like to strip. I like to strip. I like seagulls roll. <laughs> no more mangoes. But if you're a half pat, and a half pat is a dude come every three months, or a dude that comes every two weeks. I met a dude that come down three times a month. Like, good Lord. How do you come down three times a month? Like, you know, everybody come down two days, come down three days, come down two days, come down three. You know, it's a, half pads is an expensive life, man. Half pads are not broke. No 
I'm gonna tell y'all that. Half pack. Instead of X pack, half pack. Cause like we live here, but we constantly coming back and forth. Um, preparing for the TMI weekend. I'm just doing this, listen, I'm doing this for y'all, my brothers, man. I really didn't have much to say, but it's like, I'm not just gonna go live, I'm not just gonna do a video on uh, the hubcaps on the Cadillac in the Dominican Republic. I'm not gonna do all of that. Even though I should do all of that. I'm not gonna just do all of that. But uh, the lady baby baby lady is doing fine. It's crazy because she drives me crazy. Because listen, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. She's still employed, <laughs> but with the position that she held when I met her. Okay, and I don't know what to say to y'all about that situation. Even if you're watching this fall, I enjoy her company, man. I do. I like her. You want honesty? I'm giving you honesty. You want truth? I'm giving you truth. You want humility? I humiliate myself all the time. I told you I gained 80 pounds since COVID, man. I care about this woman. I was waiting with her, holding the baby. I felt attachment to this baby. Drooling all over myself. I'm happy baby, too, yeah. You know that little, little jiggle they be doing when they're starting to move? She already trying to roll over and push herself up. I was like, that's incredible. Like she's already fourth month or whatever it is. Wait, December, February, January. Let me bug it. February, December, January, February, March, April. So five months. They, they, I ain't know. I ain't got no kids, so they, they already trying to roll and turn and push up. She already, you know, cute little thing, man. But like I said, you know, gotta man up. The position I'm playing. Sometimes I don't want to play. And I'm be honest. Like I'm, I'm trying to be truthful to the camera. I don't want to be harsh to him. Like I'm tired of, you know, always like, how much you said you want? Nah. And I got smacked the other night. I didn't get the um, <laughs> I didn't get the Chris Rock joint, but I got the um, I got the half Chris Rock joint. We were in public the other day. On Pedro Casante. And we were just, you know, doing doing us. I don't look. Someone tapped me, calling me, calling me, like, yo, your lady. Turn around, like, what? Sandy from Greece. Remember that? I was like, wow, look who it is. But I couldn't be mad. I'm like, why are you looking for me? Then I'm like, you know what? Come on, then, girl. Because I'm in love, girl. I can't, I'm not, I, I'm not, 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 I'm I wouldn't love her unless she didn't love me. That's crazy to say. And obviously, I could be in Miami somewhere on South Beach with her, and somebody be like, yo, and that's no. You could be on, on Jamaica Avenue in Queens, and somebody be like, yo, that's so and so. <laughs> but still, at the end of the day, something with that lady, baby, baby, lady, and that baby, baby jiggling. Like, why is she moving like that? <laughs> The human beings, we're human beings, we're the human beings, everybody. Uh, we had a party the other day, it was all monkey bears. I hate to say that, but it's not nice, but, oof. Follow the TMI way, the TMI vernacular. Stay, stay close, man. Really, I'm seriously. Keep following, tell your friend to subscribe. You know I took a hit. You should be telling your friends to subscribe, like, share. Tap your man on the shoulder at work and say, subscribe to TMI, big TMI. Took a hit, man, you know, got my channel taken down, but I'm gonna get it back. I'm always gonna come back, baby. But um, you just have to remember that, listen, you're in DR, and it's their country, right? Everybody says that, that's big. Everybody says that, their country. Respect the country, respect them. And then you're driving through the Bronx, and it's like, oh, uh, whoa, they, uh, <laughs> they, are they following the American tradition? But uh, that's a longer story for a longer day. But, uh, like I said, follow the TMI Sasua channel. Please, TMI Sasua. TMI 950 Instagram. TMI on Twitter. 
just keep following, man. Just did this, you know, just to let you know the updates. I will be leaving this week, but exactly when, I don't know. I just dumped a bunch of cash. Trying to get some more repairs done in my apartment. And I say repairs because they have to drill holes for the uh, air conditioner. And like I said, my apartment is a home. It's not really like an apartment. You'll see the video. Shout out to Philly Dom. Shout out to Rico Toro. Oh, man, there's been two angels on my shoulder, man. Shout out to Razor Rays. With the Cerveza. You know, man, the brother's been good to me. Shout out to those dudes, though. I've been uh, very humbled by their uh, willingness to help me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out if you're looking for records, electrical items, nostalgia. Or, but yeah, like back to what I was saying about loving that girl. I can't help it. I love that girl. People even was like, you guys are a cute couple. And people come up to me like, I met her in school. We were friends, and she did this and that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> she's a good person? I'm like, wow. That goes a long way, too, man. But you know what I'm saying? Up and down, Pedro Casante. The money, the money, the, you know? The money. I'm trying to use proper vernacular. I'm trying to be a better YouTuber. But like I said, I just don't know if I can just go to the... Indian Ocean and just film <laughs> and talk. You know? Hey, my chick a day. Time to go hunting in a minute. <laughs> I love y'all though, man. Subscribers. Keep following. Keep following. I promise to be more on point. I do, listen, I can't do everything when I come to the suit because I'm a half pack. And I've been here almost three weeks. Anybody, listen. That's another thing. Keep your bug spray. There's bugs everywhere. Maintain with your bug spray. Um, always keep an eye on your passport. I would say two phones, man. I'm going to say this on the next show. I should have said it earlier because a lot of y'all don't follow me. Just hit a comment that you follow to the end. I am TMI. TMI Santiago. Follow me on Instagram, TMI950. Follow me, TMI Sasua. Just keep following, man. Shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to South Carolina. 